knock out the Metal Fight Ultimate. That's a huge AoE engagement. You knock out Jace, he has the gate, he, they can get in close. Huge move speed buff. Ezreal ban. Shen with the Global Ultimate, he can teleport anywhere and taunt up an entire team. We see with the Purple ban, Ezreal is considered... He, he's the most powerful the ADC, he right? He's considered one of the best, if not the best, by a lot of people. He also adds an AoE ultimate and an attack speed debuff. Not a bad ban. Blitzcrank. Kind of a hard Obviously the grab. Eight, like a pull can really change the yeah. course of a team fight, especially over an objective. So blue team's going to pick up Sona for first pick. Probably going to be traded off. Looks like Kuniv will probably be jungling, I'd say. The purple team has yet to pick choices. Let me check the chat really quick while we wait. Right, I'm actually going to close out of this just to make sure everything's running smoothly. See a Leona pick? Will it be locked? No tan, kind of chilling. Oh, it's gonna be MF Leona on the bot lane. MF Leona bot lane. Most likely looking for some early aggression. You see the cleanse pick up. Most likely to counter the Sona CC. Looks like Corky will be the AD carry for blue team. Sona and Corky is a really interesting combination because they can play passively with Sona's heal and the mo armor buffs. And yet they can go aggressively with Corky also and. a pretty good poke comp. Agreed, agreed. It work, though, pretty well because in bot lane you're looking at MF Leona for purple. There's no real sustain there outside of lifesteal from items. Yeah. And. Emo top lane? Oh, Skarner. Turn my mic up. So I can move You're closer. a little soft, bro. Alright, I'll move it closer. I didn't want to be too loud, though. That's the reason I had it farther away than usual. And I'm seeing a Skarner pick, probably for Kuniv. Yeah, it looks like that's what they're going to do. Kind of interesting, they banned out three really hard engaged champions and they actually picked Skarner, who's... I would yeah. consider him a hard engage as well. He could go I in, would too. slow a team, area of effect slow. Now he can lock somebody up with his ultimate. Drag them into his team. Exactly, just take one guy out right away. Might have actually banned Malphite, Shen, and Jace for the fact that if Skarner came into all, those three could all, all three exactly. of them could stop his ult. Or, well, Jace, it's kind of iffy. Malphite can ult him away, or ult him into the air, knock him up. Shen can taunt him, so he can't use it. Jace could knock him back, but I think Jace more so for the acceleration gate. We're going to see Aurelia top, most likely. Udyr in the jungle. Sounds about right, sounds about right. Now we're coming down to the last two blue team picks. And a Darius pick. That'd be, I that'd be a very interesting top lane. It will be, but I'm almost positive Darius is, a, is countered by Aurelia. We're going to see Morgana. Not banned. Last picked by the blue team from the looks. No, he's actually a counterpick to Aurelia. But Aurelia has, in my opinion, Aurelia has the better late game. She turns into for that sure, for sure. hyper carry. Whereas Darius, the farther you get into the game, it seems the less effective he is. Because... Yeah. Morelli kind of scales through damage and tankiness. Darius will get tanky, and he'll do a lot of true damage with his ultimate, but outside of that, unless he builds, like, an early bloodthirster, 
He's not going to be doing too much. It looks like we're going to have Gragas mid against Morgana. I feel like the purple team is a definite more of a late game champion. Uh, I don't know. And the blue team's a little bit of an earlier game. Yeah, it looks like blue team. I feel like they're going more for, like, the fights and objectives. And purple team's kind of looking to stall with the Gragas barrel, the Aurelia ult. They also have a good comp where they can pick a fight. Blue team as well. Gragas yeah. ultimate into somebody like a Leona. Or if Leona stuns everybody up and then Gragas blows them all back. Definitely going to be an interesting game. For sure, for sure. This is actually one match. Whoever wins this match wins. Oh, okay. No best of three. Now we've got to wait on the delay. Three minute delay. So with this team, who's your favorite to win the match? As far as cha cha uh, champion comps? Team comps? Yes. I feel like... Yeah, that's what I was getting into, actually. Was I feel like blue team has kind of the like mid-game fight. Like They can really pick a fight. Skarner can flash alt somebody. Morgana can snare. Morgana can flash alt somebody. You really have really high potential. If somebody gets caught out, the blue team has the potential to make them pay for that. Pay for that they will. Extremely. They will severely punish you if you get caught out. We also look now as far as like ratios and the way champions scale. Corky has the better late game. It's like, on equal grounds, I feel like Corky has a stronger late game. His true damage passive comes in. He's really mobile with his Valkyrie. He has great poke with his ultimate. But Le but their um, Aurelia. Yeah, Aurelia is going to be really good. If she goes yeah, for, sure, for, for an sure. early Guardian Angel, or like the AoEs of like Morgana and the Snare of Skarner won't be that big because it'll just pop the GA and she'll come back into the fight. Says Master me. Yeah. Um. It'll be a good game though. For sure. We don't see any teleports coming out from anybody. It looks like everybody's running pretty standard. No sneaky yep. tactics. I don't expect a lane swap either. This seems kind of like these lanes are just going to be farming out. Yep. Just the NA, uh, Normal strats. Though I do like blue team's comp for early aggression. So they could try and be really aggressive early on to, like, make the mid game for them. Whereas to purple yeah. team, they could do, like, if they fight better as a team, they could easily win mid game. But with Morgana, Darius, Skarner, it's going to be really hard to bring the blue down. Blue yeah, down. With, with this... Team comp, I'm thinking early game will decide it all. Because if Purple Team can stall out to late game, they have Aurelia, who's a really nice counter. She can easily jump on a carry. MF. MF does decent damage late game. It'd be kind of dependent on if she farms better. Gragas, he definitely has late game burst. Whereas Morgana kind of has the mid game damage. She doesn't really burst. When you get into, like, 50 minutes, she's more there for catching somebody out with a bind or ultimate. We're actually going to get into loading right now. I already have this in borderless window, so we should be able to see the loading screen. And I have a white screen right now loading in. Hopefully that doesn't mean there was any problem with the game. I'm going to check on the stream to make sure it's going. Yep, it's going. We're in loading. Everyone's loading relatively quickly. So if... Well, no, because whenever I stream borderless, you can see the champs in loading. Either way, though, we should be in the game a couple of seconds here. And getting things kicked off. So, 
something I missed that someone pointed out to me, uh, my friend Sid here, is that MF did bring cleanse, so cleanse could be helpful. Yeah, escape it that could... binding, escape a Sona ultimate. I'm not sure if cleanse works on Skarner's suppress. I know it doesn't work on Malzahar's. I don't, I don't think it works on Warwick's either. So I don't think it, yeah, I don't think cleanse currently works on suppresses, which is something I find a little odd. Because now MF will most likely go for that quick silver sash to get out of that. Yeah. Which having two cleanses will be pretty nice. It, it, it'd be a lot harder for them to lock her down. Like they're kind for of sure, for sure. Run. Yeah, it's a little bit blurry, but you can kind of tell what's going on. Oh. I want to jump to live, please. It's kind of weird. It put me in like 20 seconds behind, so I have to wait for it to load to lock to live. The game's been paused. Why is the game paused? Sounds about. Sounds good. I cannot even. Oh, here we go. Alright, now I can jump alive. Or not. What's going on? And another pause. 15 seconds into the game, two pauses. Oh, okay, that explains it. I was confused. I was wondering why it was like my timer was way off. We're two seconds behind live. I'm going to leave it like that in case somebody pauses again. Because for some reason, if I'm live, when it pauses, it takes me back to a couple seconds. Things are going down on red side for the purple team, and... The blue team looks like they're planning, uh, invasion. I turned colorblind mode on. I don't normally use it. But when I stream, or obviously for a tournament, I'll use it. Just in case I'm out there. Good luck, step one, coming out. Looks like blue team is going for early Yep. Maybe. Yep. Purple team knows they're there, though. The red team to place the ward in the red. It's actually around the race. And then blue just decides to back off because they know Skarner got on. Yep. Blue team is going to back away. Don't want to risk taking getting caught out somewhere. Let's see. Pretty much boots, pots, minus Minions the have spawned. standard start for a game. Yep. Their Sona picked up a mana pot, or two. Cool. Yeah, probably for early folks. We see yeah. blue warded around the Wraith area, watch and care, or be careful for invades. The text looks, uh, pretty decent now. And... Skarner is uh, picking up red, so he might be going for a level 2 gank. That should be fine, though. Yeah, both went for the smiteless leash. Both teams, which means they'll be... They'll be... Normally, if someone gets a smite, the smiteless are a little bit ahead, but here, since they both got it, they'll be about equal, probably. Early Darius already chunking down Rally at the top. Oh, she's just trying to get Rally's actually kind of winning the early trade. Yeah, Rally is winning farm too. Yeah. That could be a definite yeah. factor in whether or not Vertebraker versus Heart Karen. Yeah. It's just that. Aurelia is a farming champion. If Darius just 
gets her the farm, it's just, it's gonna go downhill. Yeah, we already see double CS at this point. <laughs> Some early aggression down bot lane. You see the bolt pop pots? already down to his last pot, which is going to make the lane even more difficult. He did level, though, because he didn't see out of that. Yeah. Not a whole lot going on, so there's warding. We actually see Udyr up at the top lane. I think he's attempting to lane gank. He's sure, though. Well, uh, and right now, Darius has no idea Udyr is there. Probably just sense the coming. You see around actually standing near the river though, maybe just being a ward for herself. Yeah, maybe going living ward style. They're running a little bit better on TS than MS, but they've already pushed the tower once. Yep. You see so, a lot of aggression down bot lane. The exhaust goes down on Quirky. Yeah. Looks that way, looks that way. No. And the Udyr comes up for a counter gank. Sona and Corky are just keeping them pinned against their lane down bottom. Both junglers putting down wards, kind of going back, bickering back and forth. Actually, kind of surprised by this. The Corky Sona is really, really. Yeah, it's being really aggressive, and it's it's working. Definitely working. You can already see a little bit of a farm difference. It's about eight minions right now on Corky. Yep. Look at mid, we haven't been mid. No real aggression yet. Ten minions up for Morgana. Morgana's really good at farming early game. Regret yeah. Melee, you can see him getting poked out of the lane right now. Oh. Like auto attacks. Booty are looking to gank top again. Really trying to get early pressure into this area. Definitely oh, definitely. He waits the flash. Top and the flash, flash goes down on Darius. Udyr will take note of that and probably come back. They see him though. Coming back down towards Brave. Top lane is definitely going in Red Team's favor right now. Aurelia's got the Blood Axe, they're coming out of bot lane. Red Team looks like Corky's going to pick up the kill. Corky gets a double. Corky's really down. Corky's down. Yona picks up a double. That's a good point. We can see Rally with a huge farm lane. He's gonna go back, pick up double horns, do wards. He's already got double the CS of Darius. Darius is back, bought one door and one ward and a couple of pots. Looks like Udyr was trying to do something mid, or he's not gonna play that way. I really think their mids need to start roaming and making plays. Well, both of these champions excel at level 6 roaming and above. Morgana's ultimate, and she can easily counter gank a jungle gank on top or bottom. Exactly. Gragas can come in, he can blow somebody away from a tower, blow somebody into a tower. They just see some Gragas come down on top there and threaten Aurelia. Aurelia really winning. Yeah, Aurelia really Aurelia chunked Darius hard. We actually see the aggression come back in favor of red lane now, which is kind of what you'd expect from this MF. Leona, I think they just need to get a couple of levels so that Leona can yeah. get all of her abilities. Leona is definitely an aggressive support player. Yeah. See, Leona picked up the double kill. She's already finished part of gold, and she's already working towards Velo zone. She has more awards. 
Norm typically, you don't want kills on a support, but this is going to allow her to tank even more so. In and, and by being able to tank, it'll let them have some early aggression. Greg is picking up the blue buff, so he's gonna hand it off. No early oracle. I do not believe anyone has an early oracle. I think everyone's just playing safe. That early oracles could very easily uh It can it could do great things set to your back. team or really it could hurt your team and you or it can benefit you. You see yeah. Darius? He's catching back up and farm only about ten down in the to twenty. I think that Aurelia might be a little scared of him now that yeah, he has his ult. Really abused the poke. We think he's gonna kill here. He's not. We go for it. He had the ignite and the ultimate. I I think he could have done it. One more key, uh blood stack, emo play, or uh, uh, hemorrhage stack, and ult and ignite. Probably would have picked up the kill, but he actually did have vision here. He did have vision of the river to know that Udyr wasn't around. Maybe just afraid due to the fact that he's not doing well as well in lane. I see Skarner actually coming in for a lane gank right now. Yup. And Raleigh has no idea. Purple has no vision of that bush. Skarner really going for the ult! Raleigh is gonna go down! Darius is gonna go down! And both junglers got the kills there. That might actually weaken the real code. Greg is coming in for some aggression. Just chunking down Morgana pretty heavily. Morgana's still in the lead with farm. Gold picked up Gold. Actually, Morgana went for double Gold and Greg is my first. Boot here to boost in Gold. They know Skarner is heading towards Blue Buff. They knew Blue Buff was late. Looks like a bot lane again. Right now, it yeah, looks like uh, purple team is ahead in gold. Looks like a troll. It's not much early game, but you can already see that CS advantage is already in the kill and already netted Fortune. There's been almost 400 gold lead over the Fortune. Right now, the team gold is pretty close. Uh, it's only about 600 gold difference. 600 gold or so. Most likely to kill the assist, though. Yeah. It's definitely just one. It's just one kill or so. Even more. Oh, Relly is referring the aggression. She feels confident she can fight. She knows she's a little bit ahead. We are coming in. Oh, maybe you called him out. Oh, Greg is still gonna go. He misses the ultimate. Greg is. What's they both out? just back off. Oh, but they know Scarner or Udi is there. Scarner's good ultimate. Oh, yeah, his ultimate is up. No flash. Are they gonna throw. go for Udi? No. No, they don't wanna, they don't wanna trade him. Scarner picked up the early orc was actually. Did he really? I see that. Ability, Velo's still on the ult. And immediately picked up the orc was he looks to be clearing ward. He might get caught here. We don't see him. Back out, let him go. So, looks like blue team might be grouping around dragon. Morgana's waiting. Actually, they're gonna try to go for the dragon. No, doesn't look so. Doesn't they look like it. There he is. Up to the kill. This is most definitely gonna be a kill. Up top. And he actually did not have enough mana for the ultimate. Oh! But Udyr may pick up Darius. The hemorrhage. The hemorrhage. Udyr coming in. I don't think he's gonna get him. No. Yeah, Udyr probably. Yeah, he's just gonna. And bat. Darius just goes deep. Looking mid lane. We're down to pushing. Actually, Greg has caught up CS really, really well. Looks like about 105 to 86. Once again, Corky is pulling that farm. Yeah, that Corky. He has about 300 gold difference versus MF. And that's like... Actually, uh -huh. Blue Team's kill, they're actually only 200 gold behind them. Just nothing. This is still anyone's game. 
And bot, Leone pops her ult. Is there gonna be a kill here? And everyone just backs off. They actually see Corky, he's already got a Sage and a BF source. When we look at him, he's only got double Doran's and a Vampire Scepter. Yeah. Corky's definitely ha has the better build right now. Looks like Corky making a double kill here. Corky's double kill on the Torch the double. He's gonna back away. He can't fight her. Udyr's coming. They see Drag is coming as well. See a rally in mid, maybe red team can try and set up for this dragon. Actually see things going down for both teams. Looks like we hear Morgana trying to figure it out. Will there be an early game team fight here? Really early team fight. The map could go down. She most definitely will. The map, the map is going down. No, oh, she gets away. Morgana's gonna go down. No, Turner all with the save. I think we're just gonna take the notes back out. But the rally up here. Corky's really low. Very good flashes. Blue team makes it out. They only lost Morgana and they got three kills out. Oh, wait, the rally's not done yet. He could. He's going to turn around to Skarner, try and get the Oracles. I think he's just going to run her. Sona actually killing Gragas at the bot line. It looks like Gragas got over aggressive. And they That's trade. Right there what? Was that three for, three for one? <laughs> That was actually a 4 for 1. The only one who did not die there was Relic. And that made blue, the gold yeah. difference on blue like 2,000 gold. Pick up the top, top and they so picked top first hour. You just see the early aggression, the really great early aggression from blue team really paying off there. Really and they turned that into a tower, increases their lead even further. Dare we say it? Tons of damage. Oh my god. <laughs> picked up the farm lead. And I think this is mostly due to the fact Corellia came bottom and she didn't really gain anything from it. While Darius oh. just kind of stood top for two or three minutes while they were, everyone was at bot just duking it out. And he pushed the top tower and he caught up and he yeah, was actually ahead by two minutes. Matt Sona is gonna go down. Oh, that's Sona, yeah. Not the best that you guys can make right there. They still have the gold lead. They gave up a little bit of gold there. Looks like Red Team's gonna turn this into a dragon, though. Well, that's gonna be costly. This is what Red Team needs to really even the gold again. Are we gonna see the dragon? We are. Forky coming up. They have no reason to have no gold here. Forky and Scarner. And purple is just gonna let him have this, maybe. They just hurt. They might have just hurt the dragon. You do see red team has all five members here. Udyr is really low though. Gold team might just back off. Scarner ate some poke. Corky's low on mana, and it, maybe red team. Red team might actually be going for this one now. Kind of dancing around the pit. You see Skarner and Stone up are both back right now. If Red would have seen that, this definitely... Matt Gragas been. goes down. Gragas. Darius ulted. I caught the very end of that. tower has gone now we're seeing almost a 4,000 gold advantage. This is just really rapidly scaled in the mid game. Dragon. Now, now about 4.3k, adding towards 5k up in 17 minutes. This is for and, oh my, this working base check is going to be all of them. But the Goodyear's going to go down too. So you're going to check Goodyear, Goodyear also goes down. Don't get that kill. 
And that's a two for zero exchange there. You see Darius Corky pushing out Bob, Darius is coming to help, we're gonna try to wait out and test somebody. And that's a three zero tower lead, and almost a, that's a 6k gold lead. About 6.2k right now. Red's really gonna need to pull some pages out of CLG EU's book to come back from this. They're also gonna try and pick up the blue, which is there. <laughs> Don't have the time on this now. They do, yep, they do take a little bit of the lizard, so they do know when it's gonna come up. Coming up at about 25? minutes. About 24 minutes, a couple of seconds more there. Garner's gonna pick up the race. He has to go off that way. Really helping him as well. Definitely, definitely. They really need to just to just get rid of that oracles on Skarner. It's it's the vision. I've always said wards win games, and it they do. They face check straight into three members. They face check right into a Morgana. We all know what happens there. You're gonna die. You're yeah, gonna die. you're dead if you face check a Morgana. Game over, bro. Game over. We see Morgana pulling a 25 lead over Gragas, Darius, two down from Aurelia. Corky has almost a 25 minion kill lead over over MF and two kills, three kills. That that's going to be disastrous. 2K, basically 2,000 gold. Out of the and you can see it. She has not even finished the Bloodthirster yet. He has the Bloodthirster, and he's almost got the Triforce already. How much gold does he have in his bag right now? Yeah, he's Another couple minutes, that Triforce is gonna be. This is just, this is disastrous for Red Team. It's just do or die right now. They really just need to stall. And Blue Team's doing a really good job of just keeping the Of up. not letting them stall. Here picks up the red buff. When we look at, we also thought you see Skarner's already finished Morelia. When you look at the red team, there's no auras, there's no team item finished yet. It looks like an Aegis of the Legion coming out from Skarner very shortly as well. Yes. Judging by the claw armor and all magic handles. Morelia might get a top tower. They might just let her have the tower. It looks like they might try and push ahead. Yeah, looks that way. I'd rather t I would trade an inner tower for an outer tower any day of the week. And if they can get this inner tower down, then it is totally definitely worth it. MF gets caught! She goes down! Oh, all, all by Morgana! Go drag us all, man. So I think Blue's gonna back out of this one. Blue's gonna take that mid tower. And Darius Salt's picked up some. And they trade a zero for two here. And Leona goes down. Still still no one down on blue. Starter gets barely away. Looks that way. And they're gonna get it. First inhibitor at the of the game at twenty two minutes. Or this far it's about an eight eight thousand gold lead right now. It's just looking more disastrous for purple as time goes on. Jerry's gonna go back. We're looking at a lot of gold definitely. Oh yeah. Corky most definitely can finish that tri force. Gary has just picked up and finished the frozen mallet. Yeah, Starter having that Oracle still, almost an Aegis of the You see Morg finishing his own his outward glass ball. Gragas actually went for a death cap, and there's a and lot of AoE. I think, I don't know. Purple has no vision of enemy jungle at all. Skarner's just clearing that. They have like four wards around, but blue side of the map is totally a mystery to them, which is, it's, <laughs> it's just... Showing that Skarner's just clearing everything, it's just not worth it. Red could actually make a push here. 
They see that you split up. <coughs> you could actually make a push with the infinite power. They only have vision of Morgana right now. And the they yeah, just the saw Slarner up top. Yep, Ward calls down. Well, they see Corky farm up top. So, and they just decided. Oh, Skarner gets caught. He's gonna go down. I think. Turn this into a glare? No, I don't think that it's gonna counter jump. We'll go back. Slide. Sounds about right. Forky picked up the Triforce, picks up a long sword. It's probably going for the last whisper right now. Just to even, just to increase the damage on Forky even more. So, you see Aurelia working towards her Triforce. I wish it would tell us Dragon Timer and Baron Timer. You can just assume, like. So Dragon's gonna be coming up. It's actually up already. Yeah, it just came up not too long ago. Right here. No one's taken Baron yet. And if Red Team could manage to sneak in a Baron, and there was no vision by Blue on Baron. Blue looks to be going for it. No, they're gonna be going for Dragon. Red can pick up a Baron. A Baron could change the game right now. For Red. It, it does. They know that they are so much ahead that they can just probably take this and there's nothing they can do. It may be GG. It, it may it may be game. No, they're actually just They actually the ping. Try and pick up a couple of kills to the Baron. All the things get caught by work. The Udyr gets caught. He goes down, and it looks like they're just gonna have to give him Baron. There's nothing they can do if their team's not out. Red I think it's most definitely gonna be a Baron. Definitely. You see Red already back. You see Skarner clearing the wards. Things are going down on Baron from purple team. Looks like they may try to steal it or do something here. MF goes down. And blue team gets Baron. Aurelia goes down. Aurelia goes down trying to get on to Skarner. So much action over so much of the map. And blue team just got Baron and Dragon, which gave them over a 10k lead. Alright, see that about a 10.5 lead. Dragon's getting caught by the explosive stage. And that. Now Leona's down, looks like they're just gonna end it. Nexus Tower going down. Second Nexus Tower going down. They're attacking the Nexus, will they get it? I think it's over. And they're attacking the Nexus. It is. It is over. The inhibitor comes back up, though. The inhibitor came back up. They surrendered. I don't think Leona's gonna be able to call. They actually surrendered. They called the Thunderbolt. Come out. It's actually a pretty one-sided game towards mid-game. Yeah, sure.